Well, Juan, thanks for having us today. Mm -hmm. um, always good seeing you. I know we've known each other for what, 10, 10 to 12 plus years. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's nice to finally sit down with you, discuss, I guess, your business, what you do here mm -hmm. in Seattle, and um, kind of see what you have planned for the future. So um, I guess why don't we kind of dive right in and you tell us a little bit about Traveler's uh, Health and Wellness. Well, I started out as a personal trainer uh, for ballets, believe it or not. Oh. And uh, yeah. And one of the things, again, we talk about how the idea or the concept grew out of some of the frustration that I saw in the, um, the I say, storefront kind of uh, yep. fitness model was, number one, the, as a trainer, I wasn't fully prepared to take on the needs of my clients. Yep. And so with all of the bureaucracy, it was but so much you could do. And it was like your certification had to do this. And so what I did while I was at Ballet's, I went and uh, I got my massage license. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of what I saw was I'd have a client who's like, oh, why? my leg hurt. And I'm just like, okay, let's use the other leg. You know what I mean? <laughs> or my shoulder hurt. And I said, oh, well, we'll do quarter day. You know? yeah. And I couldn't be that trainer. I, I really had too much respect for that. Uh, for the person's, you know, their, their finances as well as what their anticipation or needs yeah. were. And so with massage school, it opened up an incredible uh, insight to how much I didn't know as a personal trainer. Mm -hmm. And from that standpoint, I said, okay, it's time for me to move off into my own. And just at the same time, we were looking at, you know, um, the constructions for all these new buildings was just yeah. finishing and they were moving people in. And, and I said, okay, let's go ahead and, and, and try something different. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um, so we're here in Tower 12 uh, now, which is a beautiful building right in the heart of Belltown, kind of on the cusp of downtown as well. Um, why did you choose this location? Well, <clears throat> downtown Seattle is, is by far one of the most scenic um, spaces that you could kind of think about relocating to or locating to. And when I looked at this building and came up and saw the gym and all the other um, um, amenities, it just was amazing how much of everything you were able to capture and what better way to <clears throat> to engage into you know into any kind of fitness looking out there at the Puget Sound or at the Olympics or coming in here and capturing the Space Needle so the the, the views are amazing yep. yeah I think this mm. this building specifically has one of the nicest gyms uh, out there there's right. not very many gyms that actually put their uh, or the buildings that have put the gym on the top mm -hmm. floor. I thought that so was the most brilliant It's a very uh, idea. good idea, yeah. yeah, for sure. So very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and that also allows you access to all the buildings easily to, to walk to, to all your clients. It's not uncommon for me to walk into a building and see you in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for yeah. sure. That's good. And so you're, um, I know that the clients that come to you, you mm -hmm. kind of have a, a wide array of, of clientele. Mm -hmm. So everywhere from probably millennials to... I think my, uh, I think at my oldest is 85. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, she's a wonderful human being. And what she does is she gives me actually an access to, 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 to share with my younger uh, community what to prepare for. Yeah. Um, as you get older, you're looking at osteoporosis, you're looking at mobility issues, flexibility issues. And one of the things that I'm able to do comfortably is usher my clients into whatever stage they're in, into a level of being confident. Yeah. If I fall, I know that I can, you know, minimize my, my risk. Mm -hmm. um, just yeah, things like that are very important. Yeah. Um, from, a, from a millennial standpoint, reminding them that you're not a machine. You yeah. know, you need to get adequate rest, you need to get adequate nutrition. And you need healthy engagement. Mm -hmm. And I think the community that um, the downtown living affords us is ability to say, hey, come on, we're going to as a group do this, and we're going to as a group do that. That's what I think the millennials tend to, to, to uh, kind of recognize. Yeah, yeah they love that side. group atmosphere. Yeah, love yeah. Being, uh, inclusion. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah nice. Mm -hmm. Well, it's always great seeing you. As Again, well, we've as known well. each other for years and years and years. I've taken that. your classes, and I, I honestly think you're the best. And, um, you know, I think everyone should check a one out if they're looking to kind of advance themselves into the next level of fitness and health and wellness. Um, this is the guy for you. Thank you. So, and also, I'd like to say, even in your in new, uh, new buildings, your management, if you're looking to, to bring a team into your space that could offer the same wonderful services that we're offering here at Tower 12, yeah. just contact Tower 12. We're doing some incredible things yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. You and lastly, out. Pike Place Food Bank. Yep. Yeah, anytime you want to be able to volunteer or make some contribution because we really have to, we have to be the message that we bring. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, thank you. Thanks.